fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Thursday the 21st of November 2024. I hope you are keeping well, enjoying life as best you can. We're going to have another bash at another El Pais uh, expert level game of Sudoku in just a moment. Um, but do you normally carry around duct tape with you? Seems like a, an odd thing to do, doesn't it? Well, to me it does anyway. Maybe I'm just weird and maybe everybody carries duct tape around with them. The reason I ask this is uh, I, I just saw a news ar article that said, I think it was in Dallas, uh, a plane touched down, a plane was uh, traveling um, when one of the passengers uh, started to get rather agitated and said that they wanted to get off. Uh, and one of the passenger, another passenger believed that he saw him going for the door and so decided to pounce on him uh, and a few others helped restrain the, uh, the uh, person who wanted to get off and uh, they duct taped him up. <laughs> I was thinking, where did that come from? Like <laughs> You just happened to carry around a roll of duct tape in case anybody needs duct taping. Uh, it seems like a strange thing to me. Um, why do you have duct tape on you? <laughs> it's, it's a weird thing. Uh, I have no idea how much credence to give this story. Uh, I don't mean that I don't believe it, <coughs> it happened. It, I believe it. This was certainly duct, the man was certainly duct taped. But um, whether or not he was actually trying to get off seems a bit unlikely to me. <coughs> maybe it was maybe it was high or something like that, stoned or something like that, and he thought he was on a bus. I mean, I have no idea. The story needs lots of the story has brings up lots more questions than it has answers. I think so. Maybe we'll get to hear about it in the next couple of days. But anyway, strange occurrence, I think. But uh, there we are. Maybe you should carry a round of duct tape with you just in case people decide to do weird things, and you can tape them up, <laughs> restrain them. I don't think I'll bother though. Uh, anyway, let's get on with the game of Sudoku. As I said, El Pais, um expert level. We're going to start with the twos blocking up here. This is my uh, Sudoku at bedtime, my uh, extra Sudoku for the day, which I try and fit in if if and when I can. We've got twos blocking across here. We'll get a two in this square. I think we're going to go on with the twos. We've got twos blocking like this, two blocking up here. So we get two in one of those squares blocking across. So we get another two there. Quite a lot happening around the middle here, isn't there? Um, seven up here, seven across there. Seven across here and seven across there. Uh, three blocks this square here, so in this row that has to be a three. This has got to be a one to finish the row. One down here, one up there gives me one in that square.
have three up here and three across there three across here and three across here and three down there three down to the bottom and three across here three across here down and down there I think this could be the last three actually it was five across here and up there six down here down there Uh, so uh, seven's got to go here because seven blocks here, seven blocks down here and across here, seven is in one of these squares, so that can't be seven. So seven has to be in that square there. Uh, we've got four across here, across there. And here we just need a nine to finish that row. nine stops this square from becoming a nine in this column so that must go there then and this will be eight and we will have an eight here eight across here eight down there there goes an eight six blocking all the way to the end gives us a six here and we'll be left with five and seven i think in those squares so this is not five or seven must be a nine. Seven blocking down here, there's a seven. Last digit here is a one. missing numbers in this column are 4, 8 and 9. We've got 4 and 8 attacking this square so it's got to be a 9. So 8 is in one of these squares here. Well it doesn't matter we've got 8 blocking up there and 8 across there so that was wholly irrelevant.
All right, our completed digit is three, so let's see what else we can do. Excuse me. Oh, yeah. Seven blocking down here and across here put seven into one of these two squares blocking up. So that's our seven. And this is our five. Five blocking down here, down there. There's a five. Five across here, across there, and down there. Five is done. nine up here and nine across there so there's nine and in this column we still need a four uh, we're looking for one and six in these squares six over there as well uh, so what's left down here if this is one and six down here has to be four seven eight I think any use no not really and this is one six nine I think again can't get it uh, okay this was four and eight so one two Huh. Can't quite see what's going on here. Probably have have to check out the rows, but there's we've got a lot of white space along the rows. I looked at each block, didn't find the answers uh, like that. So maybe I have to look across here. Probably do.
Uh, I'm not sure, but four, seven, and eight, four, seven, and eight block down here like this. So that means that we get four, seven, and eight in these squares here. Uh, so the sevens there, the fours there. Oh, four, seven, eight. Oh, okay. So actually, four and eight are here. So that's got to be a seven. Why am I getting a telephone call on this number? My telephone that I don't use very much. I think I'll just find out who it is. Hold on a second. I've just edited out that telephone conversation. It's definitely one I don't want to have. I have no idea what I was doing. I'm so annoyed. Uh, what was I saying about this row, right? Um, four, seven, eight, wasn't it? Four. Yes, four, seven, eight. Excuse me, my apologies. So annoying when I get a telephone call. Uh, four, seven, eight, not in those two squares. So now we are left with four. I've put the seven in, so we're left with four and eight in these squares. And I can't say which is which. No key to four, clue to four or eight. Uh, but this and this are not four or eight. They must be nine and six. And again, no help on that. But I think we've put in a seven here. So this is hopefully going to give us something at least seven across here, seven across here, seven down here. That's going to give me a seven in that square there. Back again, this was one and six. So the missing digits down here are four and uh, 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 four and eight. Okay, so we've got eight blocking this square, eight blocking this square, eight blocking this square, and eight blocking this square. So in this row here now is our eight. And the last number to place here is four. And I just said that's four and eight there. So when the four goes across, that means that's a four. And that's an eight. Eight across this way, eight across that way. There goes our eight. Uh, four blocking across here for a four in this square. Four blocking up to the top means that's a four. This is two. Uh, two down to the bottom. There's a two. This will be nine. Six blocks this square here. We need six in that column there. This would be one. One blocks across here. Here's a one. There's a six. Missing numbers here and here are one and six again, is it? Is that right? One blocking down here. There's the one and there's the other six. And six across here gives six in that square. This will be nine. 9 across there puts 9 in that square. 1 down from on higher gives us a 1 there and a 2 there. So quite an enjoyable game that. Uh, just a little bit of pause at the end there um, to uh, collect our thoughts before moving into the for the end game. That's it. See you around. Bye-bye.